Hi, hello. Uh, I decided to start today, tonight, another marathon. Um, it's going to be 24 hours marathon, so it means that um, tomorrow, the same time, I'll finish it and I'll have 24 hours only to read um, books. I chose specifically one author for this marathon. I want to try to finish The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, but I also have her other two books, The Song of Solomon and Beloved, uh, that I purchased all together in one collection. I have to admit I feel a little bit intimidated because I heard only great things about Toni Morrison's work. I'm sure I would like it. I expect that it might break my heart and that what probably intimidates me. I begin my readathon with The Bluest Eye. I think it was the first book uh, she ever published. So yeah, let's begin. I'm 11 pages through and I'm already having the best time of my life. <laughs> Here's the episode that I particularly like. It takes a long time for my body to hit its place in the bed. Once I have generated a silhouette of warmth, I dare not move, for there is a cold place one half inch in any direction. This is literally how I feel every night when I go to sleep. <laughs> so good. Um, good morning, it's actually 11 o'clock. Um, I woke up at around 9 a.m. because I went to bed quite late at 2 a.m. I actually couldn't put down this book. Uh, I was just so captivated by the story and all the characters and all the descriptions that um, she makes. So it's so good. So I fell asleep only at around 2 a.m. So I woke up a bit late and um, anyways, I still haven't finished that. I think in like an hour or so, uh, I'll get through. I can't wait to continue with another one. Uh, I'm going to read uh, The Bluest Eye and then The Song of, Song of Solomon and The Beloved in this chronological order as they were published. So yeah, <laughs> I really enjoy her writing and oh, that's so good. Uh, and she is so cruel with her characters, um, but obviously this uh, collection of the stories it just strikes you with the, with the condition of people living in America at that time, so, oh, so good. Um, anyways, I'll continue, I'll have um, a breakfast and then I'll continue with the reading, so yeah, <laughs> see you very soon. Okay, so I finished The Bluest Eye, um, it was great, uh, quite triggering and um, there are a lot of disturbing moments, but um, I enjoy that anyways. The whole story, the whole idea of combining those stories together, really good. I already started The Song of Solomon and I've completed one chapter, um, but I think I'm going to take a little break and then I'll continue with the same book. Yay! So yeah. Whew. So it's uh, 9 p.m. the next day, the following day, uh, my Rathathon is over. It was dedicated to the um, works of Toni Morrison. So I managed to finish uh, one book, The Bluest Eye, and now I am in the middle of Song of Solomon. And I enjoy 
all of them. <laughs> it's really actually fun to read one uh, work after another of the same author because uh, you have this fresh memory and then you can actually compare what uh, she or he changed in their um, ideas or style. And I think there's this dramatic actually change in her work between The Bluest Eye and The Song of Solomon, for example. So The Bluest Eye it looks experimental even, like true postmodernistic literature. Still classy, but I think that The Song of Solomon, for example, is more mature. She incorporated um, more thoughtful backgrounds for her characters and uh, because it's you know more pages she has more time to actually explore their lives in their relationship the re relationships of the characters so that i appreciate as well and i can't wait actually to continue with the beloved and uh, if everything is good i hope i'll do that next week uh, and by the end of january i hope i'll finish like all of them i will talk about um song of solomon especially because so far I think I enjoy it a little bit more than The Bluest Eye and I'll talk about it more uh, in my wrap-up January video, so yeah. So far so good, I really enjoyed that her work reminded me a lot of masterpieces, um, classical masterpieces, let's say, and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's it for my Toni Morrison readathon, I really enjoyed that, I hope you too. And if you never read her work, um, I think this is a sign for you to pick her books. Anyways, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!